Never drifted with an e-brake, ever. Welcome to the most exciting video of all. Andrew's gonna be coming over and test driving the car, but before he comes over, I wanna take it for a little test trip. It has Chelsea's alignment specs. Everything on the car should be ready to rip, but you never know with a fresh build. Sometimes things feel a little funny. Sometimes you find something that you didn't find on the lift. So I'm gonna shake it down, do a couple donuts, make sure everything feels good. That way when Andrew gets here, we can just go to town, have some fun, turn some laps, and no funny business. Concrete. It's yeah. very, very slippery. I wonder Ooh. if it's gonna take a while to uh, to grip up. Everything on the car feels pretty good. The front, I feel like I might want a little more caster for my taste. But I'll talk with Chelsea and see if he put a little less in it for a specific reason. But right off the rip, it feels good. I was curious. The temp before would get super hot. The temp is like still 180, and I was pretty much at rev limiter for a while with not a lot of airflow. So that's a very good sign. issue with like drift builds is overheating this thing's staying ice cold it's still only 185 there's a few alignment things we're gonna dial in we gotta adjust the rear sway bar double check a couple things but overall like it feels like a drift bar now so it's pretty sick like I when we were in the car I might like, this is sketch yeah this is like oh, and then this oh sick I didn't even see my car dude He's ready for your dog that thing's dope I love it Dang, it's so. It's real easy to make a car look cool when it already looks cool. To no, start. I know. It's <laughs> yeah, just, right. it's just dope seeing it with yeah, yeah. the drift, the drift alignment and everything on it. Yeah, those are so tiny. We got to replace those. How is it? I haven't is driven it since they made the changes, but before it was pretty damn good. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, it's so much better. Is it? Yeah, this is sick. It's got a little button. Yeah, it's so much more too. concise and direct. Oh, for yeah, I reverse. This is so much better. Is it a separate uh, caliper or is it just all one it's not. single inline? Single. Okay, this is dope. I like the placement of it. I've never driven anything with. Damn, I'm so stoked. The steering wheel is way better too. Man, I can't wait. This is gonna be sick. So I guess game plan if it's cool with you, I want to just like do a donut or two and make sure everything's good with yeah, like dude, tire do pressure thing. and stuff, so it feels good. Four cars have been set. I'm just glad it's like not going to waste. What do you drive currently? It's a Volkswagen Golf TCR car. It's basically a factory built race car by Volkswagen, so it doesn't have a VIN number. It's just, it's kind of like a Porsche Cup car. Volkswagen mm -hmm. builds that car. Uh, it's got a 350 horsepower uh, inline four in it, and it rips. It's really fast. Big aero, wide body, comes factory with the cage, everything ready to race. It makes this thing feel like a piece of junk and this thing makes a lot of cars feel like pieces of junk. So it's, it's impressive. It's a cool car. Mm -hmm. so. Let's go get helmets and do drifts. Sick, bro. All right, I'll make sure the car's safe. Sorry. We'll be right back. I was like holding on to it to get the extra grip. I mean, I can ride with you a little bit too if you want me to give you yep. any feedback. Awesome. But, yeah. I mean, from driving with you with the slicks, you pretty much know all you need to know. Just yeah, I was going to say things. like, that's probably way sketchier than this. Oh yeah. Yeah, the car like floats so easy now. Be mindful, it's not like the slicks where now like when you're off throttle, the car's gonna float a lot more. So whenever you want the car to go, you get on the gas. Like as obvious as that is. Yeah. So usually what I'll always do before I go out is what you did with the slicks and kind of push the fronts around. Yeah, I've never done that before. So get yeah. a little heat in them. And then it also kind of is like a really quick way to figure out what the bias is front to rear grip. Okay. So like if you can't push them, the car's really gonna drive around the front and want to spin out. But if it's really easy to push them, you'll be able to like slide the front around real easily. Okay. Oh, I see what you're doing. Much 
it, it's not as intimidating. So like, I can tell just sitting here. Without the sway bar, you definitely got to be committed. That's fine. Um, I mean, dude, it's so much different than the slicks. Yeah. But uh, like you should be able to throw a lot of angle and it should be rewarding. Okay. So I'm going to try to spin it out and see what it does. Okay. One thing you'll notice, I use the handbrake when you run out of wheel speed. So like you might have been able to click third there if your car was okay, looser. Okay, so instead of adding another gear to use. But one thing I'll do when the car starts to straighten out, when vehicle speed starts getting close to wheel speed, you can use the handbrake to keep the car in drift, especially if you're coming so it's up to like an almost like extra impact. RPM. Yeah, but like obviously if that was a power corner, it wouldn't work. But yeah. because it, we know that it's going to decrease, you can use that to get that last okay. bit of extension. This is something I've never drifted with an e-brake ever. So you shouldn't need it for anything. Yeah, that's so. I'm, I've never, never slid a car. You want to do it? Do it one more time, actually. Okay. Dude. Yeah, it feels it, it feels good from here. So what you'll notice is it still feels like it did with the slicks when you're at lower angle. But when it gets to bigger angle, the caster kind of slows feels, down. Yeah. So it requires a little bit more manual like wheel work. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah, the thing rips. I'm, I'm stoked. All you, dude. All right. You want me to ride with you? Do you want? Sure. It's all second gear, right? So yeah, like, pretty like much before you did that. Pretty one. much everything's gonna be second unless you're going really fast. Yeah. I could feel you feeling the car washing in those areas. Yeah. Whenever you have that sensation, get on the throttle and, and it'll, it'll, grip it'll back plant up. the rear down. Okay. Because when you're off throttle, you don't have any of the anti-spot yeah, activating not, it's it. It's not pushing anything. But if even if it's a little bit of maintenance throttle, it'll so just, just a little five, ten percent will grip it up in yep. the rear. Um, the way you're using the handbrake and everything is great. Obviously, like you, you got to be mindful of the puddles and predict them. Oh not yeah, because it's gonna. Hard. Yeah. I, that tree thing in that scenario too. If you feel it floating, just fucking just bury the throttle. throttle. Okay. Yeah. You're shredding, dude, though. Does it feel good? You happy? Yeah, how's it feel from the passenger seat? Feels great. You're killing it, dude. Right. I'm, dude. That layout's fun. And you have no idea, like, how happy I am right now. Like, Hell this yeah. is so much fun. Like, sorry, road racers. Like, this is, this is so sick. Like, I haven't had this much fun with four wheels in a long time. When like, we start tandeming, too, you're going to have even more fun. Dude, I'm so stoked. Do you want to do one more? You want to drive it? I'm, I'm having, I had plenty of fun. I want you to enjoy your car, bro. I appreciate it, though. You mind if I do a couple laps? I'll Send just go it, by myself. Or yeah, you let me ride let me help me. It doesn't matter. Uh, do another, and I just want to see you do that throttle okay. thing I talked about, and then I'll hop out.
it? Did it, you feel it at all? I felt like I got it a little there, but I was too low in the RPM. So one thing you'll notice too, you never really want to handbrake like in the middle of the transition. Yeah, I fucked up like on the left to the right. I, I definitely, right when I did it, I was like, ah, that didn't work. It'll make the car feel weird. And yeah. like, if you can get the transition done fast and then you can do whatever you got to do to slow down. Thank you. Fucking this shredding, so, dude. I, I'm having so much fun, bro. First lap. That's out. what this is all about. Seriously, like at this point, like I just want to have fun. This oh yeah, is dude. So sick. I'm stoked, bro. Dude, thank you. Of course, dude. He's loving it. He's having a ball. Dude, I'm having so much fun. Like seriously, like you can't, you can't fake this. I can't wait to go out and shred. Go to OSW. I'm a very competitive person, so once I get better at this, you know, do tandem. Uh, maybe start doing some events. Maybe in the long term, do like clutch kickers or something. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm stoked. I'm hooked. What's, what's happening here? Fresh concrete, lots of concrete dust. But what's interesting about it is it actually like defines the line of where we're rolling over. So you can see because we're running such low pressure, yeah. we're actually eating into this part of the sidewall. Uh, once you put the bigger tires on here, it'll be better and we don't need to like use so much low tire pressure to get the grip out of it. So like when, when I'm doing road racing, I know I can look at a tire and say, all right, the alignment, I'm, I'm either driving bad, I need to adjust my driving or I need to adjust the alignment. When does that happen? And what are you really looking for in a drift car? So you want the most even tire mm -hmm. wear like possible. It's the same thing. So as, it, okay. it, but like if you're wearing the inside a lot, mm -hmm. you'll flatten it out. But like if we're running a bank track, we won't necessarily align it to give more grip on the bank, mm -hmm. but we'll align it for tire wear. So you might add or take out a few degrees of camber mm -hmm. if you see like, okay, the left rear is wearing a lot on the inside. My tires aren't lasting a full lap. Okay, so same as road racing essentially. Yeah. I'm just wondering if there's anything special in drifting. Toe is to the biggest thing that like I'll make changes with mm -hmm. based on the car and power. I like to drive with a lot of toe. Let's say you wanted the car to feel mm -hmm. really loose so you could extend a corner off throttle. Yeah. You could do that, but then you could also have a lot of toe. So when you get on the throttle, the car's a ton of forward drive. Like think okay. uh, like a 911. Yeah. You know how 911s like, if you're sliding, you get on the throttle, they just, just grips right back up. Yeah, a because, ton of toe feels yeah. like that. And then okay. it'll drive you to the inside of the corner more effectively versus like some people run zero toe or even toe out. And then the car will just want to run a really wide line yeah. and feel like you have no grip. Okay. Versus wanting to drive inside towards the apex of the corner. Makes sense. The alignment setup on this is like Chelsea's go-to alignment setup and it feels perfect. Dude, like it, for the it power feels level. awesome. Like for first time driving it, like it, it felt super intuitive and it just did exactly what I told it to. It's basically telepathic. Like the car felt awesome. Sick. Those BC coilovers are great. There's there's a lot of people that are really upset that the MCS were coming off a car and a lot of people that want to buy them. So first question, are they for sale? They're not for sale. The reason we did, we, we got rid of the MCS. If you know about MCS, they are the Ferrari of coilovers, Porsche of coilovers. They're very expensive. Chelsea knows me very well. He was my, uh, he was one of the consultants on this car. I drive aggressive. I Racing is a contact sport. And he's like, you are going to fry those things. They're going to break immediately, so it's better to break a cheaper coilover, especially while I'm learning, than, you know, go trash a $6,000 set of coilovers. And, you know, MCSs are great, but if you need something, something breaks, I don't have BC Racing right around the corner to come and fix it. So then I'm out driving my car. Uh, I can't drive my car for months on it. That's why we went with the BCs. They feel amazing, as you can see. And also, too, your yeah. spring rates are way different than what you're running. Totally different. With slicks, you'll end up running different yeah. valving, a lot stiffer spring rates, because the car has that much more lateral grip, where drifting will actually have the rear a bit softer if you want the rear to squat or you want to do certain things or catch on corners like there's a bunch of different things yeah. that go on but like i'm sure you can feel the cars a lot softer. oh yeah yeah way better <sighs> that's why drift cars make great dailies because yep. they're usually a little soft yeah. and they're <laughs> cushy anybody want to buy an f250 so i can get a daily drift car <laughs> all right if you want to drive more all right sick. drive more uh i can pull out if you want like i can go grab another car that you can chase Man's never pulled out. Go, grab, yeah, go grab another car just yeah. to i'm gonna not get close. No, you're fine. Do your thing. I'll go over and I'll go grab my view or something. Tandems? Hopping straight Going, into uh, tandems? The learning curve is... Ugh. Hey, Marco. Adam, I'm going to do some solo laps. You just show up. Well, it's just you and the GoPros.
Chris that. I'm like, that thing right there, as soon as it hits something, everything else is gone with it. Hey, if we start losing packages, it's your fault. I sent it a little too hard. A little too hard. I just stayed in, I saw it, and I was like, all I can do is lift. I can't lift. I just gotta stay on the power. Too hard. Yeah. Oh no. Rest in peace. I almost just burned to the ground, so that was cool. Really? Wait, what just um, happened? My, my, uh, there's the big fuel leak right under my downpipe. I just turned in too early. So you're okay about the sign? I don't, I don't think send that. Send me an invoice. Oh, yeah. It's a sign. Yeah, bro. It's a light. Are you gonna, I'm gonna have to <laughs> just send me an invoice for that. And They're not. Nah, so what the problem with it is, this is what I told Jordan. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not an invoice thing. It's the, it's a getting someone here to do it. I so. will handle all of that. Look at that. Great guy. I don't know. If maybe we'll maybe we'll use it for sign somewhere else. I don't really like that. Do you sign. have a specific dude that you want to do stuff like that, or what? I, no, I'm just saying. You have anybody you typically work with, or I'll just find Not somebody. Really. Yeah. I'll we, handle all the legwork. You won't even have to do anything. We can about handle it. this off camera. I'm gonna see what I can get out okay. of them. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, you did great. I'm very stoked to see the smiles on your face and I'm, I'm stoked that we're creating a little monster because just seeing him in the car, we couldn't get him to stop. Me and Grafton were like going like this for like four laps and he just kept going. You had the tunnel vision, bro. Yeah, I did. That's the best thing. You have fun? Dude, I had so much fun. You like the car? I am addicted. The car is so much better. Um, it's just, it's, it's addicting. Like I, I, it's a new learning curve and I, I want to get really good at it. Like that's all I want to do is just keep improving and keep getting better and better. And uh, I think this is the perfect car to do that exact thing with so it's it's a good thing i'm not starting out with like 500 horsepower or super gripped up car uh, this thing's absolutely perfect and i feel at home because it's my car i've owned this car for years and we have some history together so super stoked uh thank you thank you thank drift hq this car is it's amazing i'm super happy genuinely happy so, thanks guys mark my words too you'll see this mother at clutch kickers probably in in sub one year in that 500 horsepower car and he's gonna be running everyone over because that's he's he's got it in him i know it and it's gonna be sick and y'all saw him hit a telephone bowl at the compound before that happened so hope you guys enjoy these videos it was a lot of fun we're gonna go get dinner and hang out and do some more stuff my car almost caught on fire he's out of tires and we're uh we're hungry that's the video sent it off into the dirt over there and I was like, I need to chill out. But then I got like that ego drive when I'm yeah. just like, I'm just gonna, I just gotta get it one more time. Right. And then- That's the thing, you take one lab, you start getting a little more yep. comfortable and then you finally reach that threshold. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, it was a little too much. But dude, hey, thing's sick, dude. Thank you. Appreciate I love it, man. it. Honestly, it's like a new learning curve, as you can see. Yeah. Um, sorry, telephone pole, you're <laughs> part of my learning right curve. There. Yeah, exactly. But no, dude, it's, it's so much fun. Like I'm having more fun doing this than road racing. Sorry, race team that I raised for. Um, <laughs>